It's been years since military leaders broke ground on the new William Beaumont Army Medical Center. Hospital officials say it will be up and running by this summer, and ABC7 was able to get an exclusive look inside. Reporter Brianna Chavez is live from the new hospital in Far East El Paso. Brianna. Hello, Stephanie, I gotta tell you, this hospital is massive. It already looks big when you're driving along Spur 601, but up and close and personal, that's a whole other story. The current William Beaumont Hospital is about 600,000 square feet, and this one is more than twice the size. It's 1.3 million square feet. Now, we weren't able to make our way into any of the hospital rooms just yet, as staff is still conducting some trainings, but we did get a glimpse inside the main entrance to the hospital. Now, that date for opening is July 11th. Inpatients will be be moved over from the old hospital, also known as the Legacy Hospital, to this new location. Now, the new William Beaumont Army Medical Center will have 135 beds, 10 operating rooms, and 30 specialty clinics. Now, the campus is split up in several parts, the main hospital, Weston Eakes Clinics, as well as an administration building that also houses the Army's nursing school. Not only the military community will be able to come to this facility for now until the hospital completes several certifications in order to open up for civilians. Congress has said we are to become a level two trauma center uh, when we come into this hospital. So we have to do all the things with the American College of Surgeons to get that level two trauma center certification. Once that happens, we are hopeful that we will get what's called secretary designee status, where we are then allowed to bring uh, a certain civilian emergency cases into our hospital. And back in March, the hospital had to delay their opening date because of some safety concerns and changes that needed to be made. But Colonel Oshiki assures me that the hospital will be ready for that July 11th date. For now, reporting it live in Fort Bliss, Brianna Chavez, ABC7.